you know, I can kind of share with the younger guys and Rick's behind me right now and, you know, I've been able to help him a lot and kind of talk to him and, um, you know, really, really just kind of, kind of tell him what I went through last season and, and how I got to where I am and, you know, just continue working on little things and always got to keep working. Well, I know, like, you know, when you came in, you obviously wanted to make an impact and, you know, early in camp, you know, we're trying to do as much as you could. You, you kind of have to, you know, tell them, hey, you guys don't have to, you know, win the Super Bowl today or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough because you don't want to tell them, you know, you don't, you don't got to win tomorrow, but, like, at the same time, you want these guys to work hard and come in here, and, and you want them to strive for a starting position, and, and that's really the goal. That's why they're here. That's why, you know, they got drafted. Um, so I think it just comes, comes down to hard work every day and, um, you know, doing your job. What is your biggest takeaway? For, this is your second training camp now, but when you watch a guy like Drew Brees, your second camp watching him, what is the biggest takeaway from him that you apply to what you do as a pro? Uh, I love his consistency. Um, he's always he's always the same guy day in and day out. And um, you know, if he has a bad play here, bad play there, or a good play here, good play there, he's the same coming into the huddle every single time. And and I can learn a lot from that. Um, you know, I get beat on a pass rush, go back to the huddle, do your thing. Um, so I think that's been really helpful watching him. How much did you watch of him before you were eligible for the draft? Um, a fair amount. I watched the NFL quite a bit, so. Mm -hmm. Um, it was, when I knew I was coming here, I was like, wow, I'm going to be playing with a, a legend. So it's pretty cool. He mentioned to um, the NFL Network last week, and also he mentioned again this past weekend that last year was the first time he ever thought about actually retiring. When you hear that from a guy like that, do you ever get a chance to like sit back and think about his legacy to the NFL? Yeah, I mean, I haven't thought about it a ton, but like at the same time, it's it's so incredible what he's done and all his records and just to be able to play with a guy like that and be on the same team as a guy like that. And it's really an incredible thing and, um, you know, lucky and, and grateful to have him on our team still playing. I heard uh, Larry Warford the other day say he was jealous of uh, Teron Armstead's uh, skill set, uh, <laughs> yeah, just being the athlete that he is and everything. Do you ever kind of feel yourself thinking the same way? Or you um, Teron has a... Uh, how do you say it? a different set of skills maybe <laughs> um he's an extremely good athlete yeah. and uh you know that comes down to practice and uh repetition and, and keep on keep on keeping on with your stuff and, and you know tron tron works really hard uh on, on the little things so you can learn a lot from him but does, does the line group like uh like sit down when you're watching film and just look at like line stuff that nobody else finds impressive and you guys are like damn look at the way he yeah, I mean, to an extent, there, there's some plays that Teron puts on film, and it's like that was incredible. Like you, you don't you don't see that in the league a lot. You just really don't. Um, so once in a while, it'd be a big wow. <laughs> How so, man? How so? I would yeah. say just his. He's so smooth in his pass set. He's. Um, it doesn't look like it takes him a lot of effort when he's moving around, or you know, the DN's countering on him. He's so quick to transition that. Um, it's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> what have you seen from Rick? Uh, what have I seen? So I think from OTAs he's come a long way. Um, you know, in OTAs his his upper body is moving a lot, and he's kind of quieted that down now. Um, and then I think in his run game he's been able to stay on his feet, stay centered a little bit better than what he was doing in OTAs. So I think um, he's come a, a pretty good way since OTAs. What was the biggest adjustment for you coming from college to the NFL that maybe you can impart to him? Um, I mean, obviously, just the speed and the strength of the game. But I would say initially it was just the power of the game. It was like in college I'd be setting, and, you know, you could get away with your legs more vertical and, and not sat down as much. And in this league, if you get caught doing that, you'll know it. So... Um, you know, I've told him that a couple times, and yeah. He's a, he picks it up fast when you point something out. Yeah, I think he, he's good at translating, you know, what he learned after practice to the next day and working on it.